And tonight we continue to follow news out of Conway as police investigate three separate shootings that left two people dead and one injured. Thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News after the game. I'm Jessica Rank. Now we're told although the shootings were separate, they are all related. Fox, Fox 16's Tylisa Hampton has been covering this incident. And Tylisa, what do we know at this hour? Well, Jessica, we reached out to the Conway Police Department several times and we have yet to hear back about any new updates. But what we do know so far from speaking with those in the community is despite the fact that the shootings happen in three separate locations, everyone who knew the victims involved are shocked that this happened and are grieving. Now, police said yesterday that the suspect in all three shootings was 32 year old Prince Michael Jedimombi. He was taken into custody last night by police after running away on foot, which ended near I-40. Now, police also say that this all started yesterday before 5 p.m. when they received a call of a shooting near Highway 64 in Salem Drive. That's where they found a 25-year-old woman shot who was later taken to the hospital. Now, I was told by people in the area that she is in critical condition. And the second phone call police say they received came shortly after at Newcastle Drive, where a 48-year-old woman was found dead. We went there today and we spoke with neighbors who say she was a lovely person and they are praying for the family. Now police say that this third shooting happened on Donaghy Avenue by the Greek houses at ECA where they found a 29 year old man who was found dead. One ECA student we spoke to said that she was shocked to learn a gunman was so close to campus. I seen when the cop cars were leaving the police department and I was wondering what was going on. Um, and then I heard sirens as well too, so I was like, I really want to know what's going on. And then we got like notifications. Now police also said that the suspect was taken to the hospital after a self-inflicting gun wound. Now again, once we learn any new information, we will update you on air and online at fox16.com. This is a developing story and we will continue to follow it closely. Reporting in the studio, I'm Talisa Hampton. Back to you.